Hello, this is Dave Gleason with an Orchard Update. We're in Washington State where apples grow better than any other place in the world. We've got a lot of advantages here and one of them is intense sunlight. We have a variable climate where we get wind and rain and yet it's a desert so we have to mitigate the risks. Uh, one of those risks of course is dry trees. We don't tend to have flooding in most cases, though, if an irrigation pipe breaks in the orchard, that can cause some significant damage as well. I uh, just want to give you a quick update on the present situation in the, in the summer here in Washington. We're finishing the end of cherries. Uh, they've been great, wonderful tasting cherries. We've had an excellent growing season that have produced some of the best tasting cherries that I can remember. We're also in the middle of blueberries and kiwi berries are in front of us and we are on the front end of apple crop. New crop apples we've just started harvesting and that's always an exciting time for us because we get to take them inside, put them in a box and, and take them away from the environment that actually at times can be a bit uh, intense in what we get. So today we're in a cosmic crisp block and that's an exciting new variety for Washington State and as we build structures and actually manufacturing plants basically to produce apples, every year we look at what we've done and how we can do it better. And with Cosmic Crisp and really all our new blocks that we're planting at Superfresh Growers, we're designing into the structure of our factory the ability to mitigate some of the risks that come from the environment. So in this case, you can see that we have shade cloth over the tops of these apples and it helps the trees grow better actually there's times when our sunlight is so intense in Washington that the trees take a little pause they have to stop say okay I've had enough sunlight for today we we get to 16 plus hours of sunlight during the most intense and longest days of the year and that gives us beautiful trees large fruit with high sugar levels and yet at the same time there can be too much so that sun can cause sunburn on the fruit which makes it uh, a candidate for the juice instead of for the fresh market we do what we can then to measure that risk and look at the inputs that we can affect in the environment in order to mitigate that so this shade cloth is about 14 percent reduction of solar intensity and that's a nice balance uh, if we have too little then we can still get sunburn. If we have too much, it can inhibit the maturing of the fruit. So it's, it's a balancing act. And like I say, every year we're learning a little more uh, about how to put these factories together. From one year to the next, we never seem to do quite the same thing. We're adjusting and adapting, looking at the results from what we've done in the past and trying to improve. So we're excited to be at the front end of this apple harvest, we're into galas and uh, other varieties are not too far behind. We're excited to be picking this block of Cosmic Crisp. These apples will be picked in October and right now they're just developing wonderfully. They're, they're an exciting apple for us. We're also looking at our Autumn Glory crop and I'm excited about it. This has been Dave Gleason with another Orchard Update. Thank you for watching.